Uh, you must be pretty proud of that group for a remarkable series win. Yeah, I, I am. I was um, elated with their effort and a lot of adversity out there tonight. And they uh, just kept responding. Where does that rank in things you've been involved in, Wayne? Oh, it's too early for me to rank in it right now. Need to sleep on it? Probably. Might be a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. You blooded 14 uh, players in this series one. I mean, it is, it is quite remarkable when you think of it in that, that context, I guess, of what you've achieved. Well, we achieved something similar in 2001. We brought Alf back for that third game. And I think the key to us tonight was getting Munster back on the field for this game. And we didn't have to bring him from England, we just had to make sure his head was okay. <laughs> Daly, you mentioned that on the field there after the game about the, the worst team in 40 years job. How much did that actually motivate the team within the camp? Yeah, look, probably motivated us all a little bit. You know, Wayne, Wayne gave 14 people an opportunity to play for Queensland. None of them weren't deserving of their opportunity, so, you know, it's probably just a, probably a nice moment for us to all sort of yeah, sit there and think about it, you know. The media can sometimes motivate you as a player, but there was more than that out there tonight. We were playing for each other, but that was just a nice little finish. Wayne, all the debutants in the series were outstanding, but Harry Grant tonight showed he's, he's got something special, has not he? Yeah, no, he was. He was very good. But, you know, um, Jake did a lot of work for 25 minutes. Took, you know, it's a, it's a lot different coming off the bench than just starting the game. And uh, But Harry, Harry was... It was what we need. That's the reason why I did what I did um, to try and get that momentum, keep that momentum that Jake would be building on out there and getting us into the groove, and to, for him to come and you know get the advantage of all that. And he did that magnificently. And, you know, I kept both of those guys on for a long period of time. You don't normally play with two hookers, but they were doing the job for me, and I just left them there. Sorry, getting strapped. Was there anything wrong with this? Pardon? We saw Harry Grant getting strapped. Yeah, he's got a yeah. shoulder knock, but he's, he's okay. Daly, but one of the most satisfying, I mean, this three-week period leading this team must surely be one of the most satisfying periods of your career now you've got this result tonight. Yeah, Wayne would be able to sort of talk about the sacrifice that everyone made at club level this year. And there was another big sacrifice for, for both sides this year, time away from family and close ones. So um, we sort of spoke about that. If we're going to be away from our loved ones, we want to make it worthwhile. And it certainly got us over the line tonight. I thought we all played for each other. and made it a special night. Thanks, Thanks, Daly, Daly. Just knowing you were in charge of so many fresh faces there that to achieve something that not many people believe you do, you sort of allowed that to sink in what you've been able to achieve? Oh, yeah, look, I'm the lucky one who gets to call myself the captain, but there's a lot that goes into a camp. We had a lot of great coaching staff. Wayne led that. Mal, Neil, there's a lot there. A lot of players um, that put their hand up as well, so it's a massive effort from everyone involved in the squad. Daly, it's your first time being coached by Wayne. Can you yeah. tell me what he brought to the, the camp this year? Tell me to tell him. Apart from humour? Yeah, no, he's, um, it's a pass, Mark, eh, hey, Wayne? Yeah, just a pass. <laughs> Wayne, Tracy, what does it mean to you to, to captain a Queensland winning Origin Series team? I mean, you've had a bit of heartbreak in this arena over a few years, but to come out now with this team and lift that shield, what does that mean to you? Yeah, it's a very special moment. Um, uh, whether I was captain or not, I just want to keep playing for Queensland. I love the opportunity. Um, been away from the side for a little bit there, but every time I get a chance, I want to make sure I make the most of it. And um, Every time you come into camp, it's just a special place to be. It's really nice. Wayne, well, you've coached some great five boats in your time. Where does Cam Munster rank among five boats you've coached? Well, it's different to a lot of guys I've coached at five eight. Um, He's just a footballer. He, he knows the game. He's got a great instinct for it. And he makes things happen when nothing's going to happen because he's not thinking too much about it. He's just, you know, he's got a lot of Alan Langer type characteristics about him. Just can make it happen. Um, but, you know, he doesn't need a plan to play to. He just backs his instinct. Wayne, would you like to coach this team next year? Oh, look, that's not going to be um, a path I'm going to go down right now. I'm not in a good place emotionally. Um, so you can barely make the wrong decisions when you're there. It's a pretty emotional night for all of us. After that game, Wayne, have you ever been attacked like that by a bunch of players? Because it was pretty full on. They almost brought you down. Yeah. No. <laughs>
Oh, look, it's, it's great rapport amongst us all. We had, a, we had 27 guys and they all feel part of it. Three of them didn't get to play at all in the game. We played 24 of them. Uh, but everybody feels that they were part of it and that's the way I wanted it. And, um, yeah, they've, been, been, they've been a great group to work with and really special. You made the call during the week, there was like 50,000 here tonight. Obviously, you found out there was going to be 50. It made a difference, do you think? Well, I think for me personally, one of the things tonight was about, you know, it was 40 years tonight that we started Origin. Mm. And, and I think the things that, that Arthur and all those wonderful players and that night came out and displayed, we displayed here tonight. And the great Queensland spirit, the never give up attitude, uh, doing it for your mate. Um, it was all on display here tonight. And I think there was about 15,000, 17,000 fans at that first game. Well, we had a lot, you know, the game's growing. And, I'm proud of the fact that, you know, on our watch, we've been able to, to maintain the, the traditions and the things that makes Queensland what it is. And, and to hear the fans, the way they reacted out there tonight was really, really special. That's without all the ones at home on the TV and the little kids watching this game. They'll never forget this game. They'll never forget this moment. And that's, to me, what Origin's about. It's not a game of club football. It's not about winning the premiership. It's a whole different format. And you've got to get it and you've got to take the moment with it. And you, you leave a, well, I'm not big into legacies, but you leave a, a standard for the ones coming after you, and we've lived that standard tonight. Um, we've, we've lived that right to the team. We played with 12 men in the end, we played with guys hurt out there, we played guys with concussion off the game, couldn't come back. But you saw us put our body on the line time and time again. And that's what's made Origin great, and that's what's made Queensland what it is. DCE, can I just ask you, could, could you have done what you did without the miscoach, do you think? Could you have achieved? Ah, uh, look, a that's a big, that's a massive, massive hypothetical. What if? But um, what we did have was Wayne as our coach, and we had the squad that we had, and we were able to achieve something special with it. So I think that's all that really matters is what we had was enough, um, and we're really, really grateful for the chance we had. Wayne, will you celebrate by going out to lunch in Sydney? No, you're allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I've still got a week in quarantine. I want me to go to Coffs Harbour, but the school is, and I think I'm just a bit out of school. <laughs> Boys are begging me to go with them around the cops, but I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll have to keep on the line who's dropping them off or something. I don't know. <laughs> Wayne, Wayne, what about Edric and Brinko Lee? I mean, probably maligned in some quarters, but both showed some great. Yeah, I, thought I loved what they did out there tonight. You know, uh, Brinko wasn't obviously 100% fit, but he was fit enough to get us to that point in the game, you know, and I thought he was good. But I was really so happy for Edric because he's had a pretty tough 12 months with family. and. Um, and, and you know, it would have meant so much for him to see his parents play for him. His parents were here to watch him play tonight, but that wasn't the case. But and I was just so pleased he stood up in the arena, uh, which is the biggest arena of them all, to, to show everybody that you got something. Yeah. What, Wayne, what did you make of the Jairo situation with James Desco, the New South Wales camp? were very happy that he. To lift James off the ground and like yeah, well, that was an instinct, mate. That, that Joy Arrow's not—that's that happened so quick, and he didn't—he didn't realise that the pile had hit him with his knee into his head, or he'd gone into his head. Whatever happened there, that was just because as soon as he realised what he'd done, he was—he stayed there. He never moved. He didn't run away and give a high five or something. And that's—it happened so quickly out there, and he just didn't know what had happened. And he thought he was just trying to, you know, dog it there, as we know it. And, that was never the case, and as I said, I thought he reacted really good. But he, if you look at his head, he never even seen what happened. He was in there trying to make the tackle. He never saw what, the, the knee going to it. The, the exact the words, um, Wayne from Brad Fiddler, where there was a lack of respect. What's that? He, he said it was, Brad Fiddler said it was a lack of respect for his opponent. Oh, Brad's kidding himself. Okay. There was no lack of respect there. Just watch it again. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, guys. 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 Thanks, guys